In this video, we're going to pick up where we left off in the last video with Flask templates. So I have this layout file still open with the same things in the layout.html file that I have before. So it still says, hello, Rebecca. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate two more things about templates in Flask. Um, the first thing will be loops in the template. So first, let's build a loop. I want to build an unordered list and I want to loop over something to build this list. So the syntax for looping is similar to the syntax for the if statement. Um, instead of if, it will be for, for something in something. So let's call it four items in or four item in items and then I'm going to do something and then in loop here or in four so in between these tags I'm going to put what I want repeated over and over again for each item in this list of items so I'll have these tags with item dot text. So I don't have this list or this dictionary set up yet, but I'll build it. But this is the structure that I want to follow. So I'll save that. And here I will now build a list. So I'm going to call it items. And it's going to start as a list of dictionaries. So I named the key text. So let's just say first second and third. Okay, so now that I have these dictionaries in this list, I just need to pass them to the rendered template function like I did all these other values so items equals items so now this list of dictionaries will get passed to the template and for each item in this list I should um, have this unordered list populated so let's refresh and see so let's see what the issue was I forgot to put the curly brackets around item.txt. Without the curly brackets, Jinja thinks this is just text in the HTML and not a variable that needs to be substituted. So let me just put the brackets around it because these are variables. Save it and now let me run it. Okay, so now first, second, third are the items in uh, the list and they get added to these tags and just inspect the element to see. Uh, you see how there's three li tags. So loops are pretty simple. The last thing I want to show you is um, template inheritance. So with HTML pages on a website, most of the pages have some common elements and you don't want to have those common elements be in every single file because if you had to change something about that common element you'd have to do it in every file so it'd be great if you can extract all the commonalities out and put them in one file so if you had to update it in the future you only had to update it in one place so to do that I'll demonstrate it using this same file but I'm gonna move a lot of it over to the structure.html file which is empty at the moment so let me copy this and structure.html is just going to have the basic structure of the page. So the HTML head title and body tags, um, but nothing in between. So there, I've removed it. And then layout.html won't have those elements that are in structure.html. So let me remove those. Okay, so all that's left in layout.html is the things that are specific to that one page. 
and then structured has the basic structure of each page. So the first thing I need to do for template inheritance is create blocks. So uh, both files need to have matching blocks so the template engine knows what to uh, replace with what. So in structure, I'll create a block called page content. So syntax is curly bracket percent and then block and then you name the block. So I'll call it page content. I'll put an underscore in there. Okay, so I have this block and then I need um, a matching block here. But since, well, let me go back. So block page content, I also need to end the block here. End block there. And then here I do the same thing, but this block will actually have stuff in it, whereas this is just going to be replaced uh, by the template engine. So I'll say block page content. And then down here, I'll say in block. So now I have matching blocks. And then the final thing I need to do is tell the template engine what this will be modifying. Because you can have many um, template files in your template directory, but uh, the engine won't know which one you want to um, replace this block with. So I have to have this extends extends structure.html. So this is basically telling the engine um, I want to take structure.html and replace the block with the block in here. So this extends has to be the very first thing in the template file. So with that there, I just need to run or refresh the page and it looks exactly the same. So to demonstrate that the inheritance is working, I'll modify this. Um, I'll say, I'll put another header in here, um, structure. And now I'll save. If I refresh, I, I should see structure above hello Rebecca. Okay, and now if I modify layout, um, instead of saying hello, I'll say good night. And if I refresh it, it changes. So I now have two files generating one page. Um, and one file can be considered uh, a file that holds more common elements. So that's all I wanted to cover um, with Flask templates using Jinja. So thanks for watching this video.